Grace Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Sunday, August 4th. Okay, so welcome to the new moon in Leo. We definitely have some major energies popping off here today under this new moon influence. I'm going to recommend that you take a listen to the new moon in Leo astro forecast. If you haven't already, download the moon guide, listen to your zodiac forecast, download the Leo season e-guide, get all of the things, listen to all of the things, read to all the things, tap into all the resources out there so that you can stay in alignment with this energy shift. Not only do we have this very powerful, very potent new moon popping off in Leo energy, we also have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money moving into Virgo energy later in the day. And to kind of put a little bit of an extra layer of tension, of pressure, of confusion onto us, this is also the last day that Mercury will be direct. He is going retrograde 49 minutes into Monday morning. And so this new moon and Venus on her move into the Virgo energy is all being affected by Mercury stationing, standing still in his direct position as he prepares to pivot and start looking back. So with all of that being said, there are 10 different aspects popping off here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Leo energy going to make a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener, who of course is in Taurus energy. Uranus is basically asking for us to make a major change, to make a major transformation, a spontaneous twist of events, if you will, in our physical realms. That Taurus energy is our physical body, is the physical realm. The routines, the relationships, the money matters, the vision, the goal, the dream that we have. But of course, Taurus energy being a fixed earth sign, we're resisting the changes that we know that we need to make. And that is part and parcel why this change, this transition has been so slow. The moon now in this Leo energy, definitely helping us to tap into a new level of courage to do the hard thing, which just happens to be the right thing, which is to make these major changes, these major moves. Uranus does kind of lend us a little bit of clarity. We are going to have an aha moment, a little bit of a light bulb moment before the actual new moon in Leo takes place. This is going to illuminate for us where it is that we can feel the energy building towards a major precipice, a major shift, a major pivot point in our physical realms. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is in Gemini energy, an active participant under this new moon event. Again, download your moon guide so that you understand the different pairings, the different partnerships that are teaming up to influence major change, a major change of heart, specifically under this new moon in Leo. Mars in this Gemini energy, of course, fire energy from Leo, air energy from Gemini. This is how creative solutions, this is how pop-offs, epiphanies, this is how new excitement, new passions get unleashed. Because Mars is involved and he's being aspected in a positive way, this is a buildup in our motivation, in our inspiration, in our determination to actually make some moves, to make some progress, especially because he's in Gemini energy, with just deciding, just choosing the path, the direction, the task, the chore, the hobby, the goal, the vision that demands our energy, our attention. The sun in Leo energy going to make a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibility, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. He, of course, is retrograde in Pisces energy, with all kinds of efforts in deconstructing the past and closing the door on some karmic chapters. The sun, of course, is our life force energy, shining a bright light on what we want to build, what we want to create, what karmically speaking, we are being called to do, called to pursue. The moon in Leo energy then goes ahead and interacts with Saturn. So emotionally speaking, there's a new level of awareness, 
a new purpose, new mission, new calling, triggering us to get serious, to get focused on what it is that we have to remove out of our lives, what we have to clean up as far as loose ends and debris goes before we can actually pour our heart and soul into building in a new direction, building towards a new goal, vision, and dream. 7.13 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon and the sun come together in this Leo energy, and this is what forms our new moon in Leo. Again, all kinds of information, all kinds of resources out there for your downloading and listening pleasure. Please stay in your heart space. Please stay ahead of the energies. Please stay in alignment with this new version of self. We sit in this new moon energy, which again, dark phase of the moon. So there is an ending just as much a beginning. There is this breakdown versus breakthrough energy all in the heart space, Leo energy, heart and soul space. We sit in this for approximately four ish hours. Then the moon goes ahead, makes a positive interaction, a little bit awkward, but positive nonetheless, with Neptune. Neptune, of course, is retrograde at the 29 critical crisis degree of Pisces energy. This is going to put us in a very hypersensitive mood where we are kind of giving ourselves permission to move into la la land, to really tap into our imagination, to our creativity, to conjure up some inspiration a little bit of a reminder of what this goal, this vision, this dream actually is to us, why it matters so much in order for us to stay focused, for us to stay inspired, keep our eye on the prize so that we can essentially start moving towards this new aspect of self, this new futuristic goal, vision, and dream. The moon is then going to sextile, beautiful interaction with Jupiter. Jupiter is also a major player under this new moon energy. Again, download the moon guide in order to do a deep dive into that particular growth as well. Jupiter does like to magnify where it is that we have the opportunity to grow, to evolve, to move on, to tap into some wisdom that we've learned through our tough love life lessons and actually integrate it actually see because Jupiter is in this Gemini energy where we have multiple options and opportunities to actually move on, to actually kind of grow, to expand upon some of the things that already are kind of working for us, working in our favor, making us feel good. Emotionally speaking, this is a download of positivity, of optimism, of confidence. We are boosting our spirit, so to speak, really getting refined in our heart space in order to see where it is that we want to catapult ourselves in a new path, in a new direction. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she is essentially at the very final degrees of this Leo energy, and she is going to be making a tough interaction with Neptune at the final degrees of Pisces energy. And so we may have a little bit of a layer of confusion kind of take over us. We may become a little bit overstimulated, oversensitive, if you will, so confused on whether or not we're staying, we're going, what we're building towards, what we're closing, what we're ending, we're all over the place. There is this element where we are having a hard time kind of trusting our heart space, trusting our higher self in this moment, because again, we're in the dark phase of the moon at the critical crisis degree where intense endings and closures take over us, where there is this essential heart break in order for this breakthrough to take place. So Venus, of course, interacting with Neptune, who happens to be the higher octave of Venus, we're really not in the greatest space. We're kind of tapping into where it is that we feel kind of real and raw and vulnerable, where we're not so certain, we're not so sure of some of the things that we're feeling pretty positive about earlier on in the day. The moon is then going to make a very tough interaction with Saturn. So this is like early evening, 6.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is kind of when the vibe takes a little bit of a deep dive, where we start getting a little bit of a negative Nancy vibe, where we're really starting to pick ourselves apart, where we're tapping in to our heart space and realizing that all of the things that we want to do, what we need to pursue, requires a lot of energy from us that we just don't have at the moment. And so now we're kind of beating ourselves up. We're picking ourselves apart. 
we're kind of, you know, losing faith, losing that optimism. We're losing momentum, essentially. And because, you know, Saturn is involved and he's being aspected in a not so nice way, there is this harsh reality check, this pessimistic, negative Nancy point of view taking over our emotional field. Does it feel good? Nope. Is it supposed to? Absolutely not. We're in the dark phase of the moon where we need to realize what needs to end, what needs to die, what we have to bring in a completion point in, especially if we want to start building towards something new. Keep in mind, Saturn is in destruction mode, right? We have to disassemble, deconstruct our belief system, the way we've been doing things, the old version of self, the right realm and reality that that old version of self had built and created. We aren't feeling so positive, especially when we're looking at all that we need to kind of bring to an end to a close before we can start building towards something new. The last thing that we have going on here today, 10.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, is that Venus will be shifting into Virgo energy. So again, there's an astro forecast on this particular event. Capture where it is that your heart is at, what your heart is focused on, where it is that there's some confusion, some tension, some tug of war in that Leo season e-guide. And again, to know where this particular energy shift is going to impact your life the most, listen to August Zodiac Forecast. Your sun, your moon, your rising.